Hey, it's Connor here, back at you with another episode of the Food Review. So I'm here at Sonic to come try out one of their new hot dogs called the Croissant Dog, which is their regular hot dog on a bun made of croissants. Yeah, a croissant. So there's two different ones you could choose from. They have one that comes with just mustard on it, which that sounded boring. Then the other one, which is the double cheddar bacon, which is the one I had to get because, you know, I like bacon and then they have all that on there and some spicy mustard on top and then also as a little bonus i'm reviewing one of their new blasts i don't know if it's new or not it's called the waffle berry brownie it sounds terrible but i have to try it so here we have the hot dog here in their little um wrapper here so let's take it out here oh there we go that actually looks kind of pretty and then here's the croissant bun it feels pretty soft uh, doesn't look really flaky like a croissant spicy mustard. We got the bacon check and the cheese mm. So let's take a bite and see what this tastes like So I have a question does this even look like a croissant to you? It doesn't look like one to me even when you eat it by itself. It doesn't even have that buttery croissant flavor taste. So the flavors going on in here are actually pretty good. I mean, hey, it's a hot dog. You can't really screw that one up that much. Then you have your hot dog in here, beefiness, some saltiness, then the gooey cheese on top, and you got the bacon adding a little more crunch, a little more saltiness, and you have that spicy mayonnaise on top. Mayonnaise, mustard, adding a little zing and a little more spice. And the, the bun, I just wish it tasted more like a croissant. I'm getting a little buttery flavor, and a little croissant flavor, but not as much as I wanted. I want it to be flaky, but it's just like a regular hot dog bun. So on to this blast thing right here that on the top that they have some waffle. I don't want this to go all over the place. There's some little waffle pieces right there. And in the picture, it showed that there were brownies on the top and I definitely didn't get any brownies on the top of mine. So let's take a bite and see what this tastes like. There's the brownie, I see it. Hmm predominantly strawberry not really getting that brownie taste i don't know that's just me whenever i get something it has brownie or some kind of dessert in i want big chunks of it and this has barely any i mean hey you could just call this strawberry ice cream with some crumpled waffles on top could have fooled me so uh, this right here cost me three dollars and 99 cents uh not worth it rip off and this right here was three dollars and 49 cents which is also kind of a rip off for a hot dog i mean i expected it to be really good if it's three dollars and 49 cents and this new bun right here to taste like a croissant and it didn't so uh it's okay but not something i'd get again all right so i'm going to review the hot dog first so sonic i'm going to be giving your double cheddar bacon hot dog a uh seven out of ten that the bun really didn't taste like a croissant it just seemed like a regular hot dog bun to me it did have a little more buttery flavor but it wasn't flaky and crumbly like a croissant is but I mean the flavors going on there were really good a standard hot dog and you got the cheese the bacon and your spicy mustard the tanginess the flavors are good but the bun was the letdown in my opinion and then I'm gonna be giving the waffle berry brownie glass crap thing a 3 out of 10 it's just tastes like strawberries the only waffle flavor I got was the waffle on top and I barely got any brownie. I really wanted a lot of brownie, it just tastes like strawberries and it really, frankly, wasn't good. I wouldn't get it again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, favorite this video, hit that subscribe button for me to keep track of all the latest food reviews that come every Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and every other Tuesday. And I hope to see you next time on the next episode of the food review and I'll catch you later.